I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on trigonometry. We have taken a very interesting example on right triangles based on bearing angles. Let us see how to solve this question. A ship sails 60 kilometers from A at a bearing of 130 degrees. Then further 150 kilometers on a bearing of 220 degrees and then returns directly to the starting point. Find the length and the bearing of return journey. You can always pause the video, uh, answer this question and then look into my suggestions. So here is a diagram to work out the solution. When we say 60 kilometers at a bearing of 130, that means the angle from here is 90 plus 40, right? So, so that becomes the angle. So this angle is uh, 130 degrees. That means 90 plus this angle here is 40 degrees, correct? Further, 150 kilometers on a bearing of 220. So at this point, we have to go for a bearing of 220. 220 means 50 less than 270, right? So, so kind of like this and uh, much kind of like this, right? So that becomes the case. So this is 220 for us. And this angle here is 220. Sorry, this is 150 kilometers, sorry. 150 kilometers. The other one here was 60 kilometers. Now, we have to figure out how will this return, right? So it has to return to the starting point. That's the diagram. Let's call this point as A. Now this is B for us, and that is C. Okay. Let's, <clears throat> let's see the angles. So if this is 40, this angle here will also be 40. When we are saying 220, then it is 50 here, right? Now 40 plus 50 is 90 degrees, so we have a 90 degree diagram. So, so that means A to C basically is, since we have a right triangle, uh, we can find this as square root of 60 square plus 150 square, correct? Since uh, the triangle ABC is right triangle. Correct? So let's find this first. So we have square root of 60 square plus 150 square, uh, which in decimal is 161.55. The units are kilometers. So the ship has to return 161.55 kilometers. Now we need to find the bearing angle. Okay. Right. So we need to find this angle. <coughs> Since this is a right angle, we can use uh, tan ratio to find this angle angle C. So we can say tan C is equal to 60 over 150. That means angle C is equal to tan inverse of 60 over 150. Correct? So we have shift tan inverse 60 divided by 150 which is 21.8. So this is 21.8. Now we can find the third angle, which is angle CAB. Right? So angle CAB should be 180 degrees minus 90 degrees minus this 21.8 degrees, correct? 
So let's do 90 minus 21.8. So in decimals it is 68.2 degrees, 68.2 degrees. So this total angle is 68.2 degrees. Now we know that the angle which the smaller angle here should be how much? 68.2 minus 50, right? So, so we have this combination. So let's take this point as, uh, let's say, let's say P, right? So the angle A, I mean CAB, will be equal to 68.2 minus 40 degrees. So we get 28.2 degrees, correct? So that is the vertically opposite angle right there. And so we have this angle as 28.2 degrees. And therefore, bearing angle for return is 028.2 degrees, correct? And we already found the distance as 161. Distance is 161.55 kilometers. So I hope with this, you understand how to solve such questions. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.